This time on Mike Peters' Amazing World of Toys, I want to talk to you about Corgi Toys' London Transport Route Master Bus. Isn't it lovely? So this one is um, from my own private collection. Um, it's from the 1960s, um, a little bit older than me, I'm sure. Um, well, just. And... Um, it's, uh, yeah, you can see from the box there, it has uh, seats, staircase, handrail, spring suspension, driver and clippy, and jeweled headlights. Now, um, I was looking at it because, you know, obviously I was just about to film this, and um, I was admiring it, and I realised that, yeah, the jeweled headlights have really gone out of vogue with model cars and I, I actually really love them. I think it, it adds a kind of, just a little bit of life to the model. I, I'm not sure about, about what you think, but I love the fact as well that they put drivers, they put a driver in there. You can see the driver there in his cab and also the clippy. Uh, now for anybody who doesn't know, the clippy is the bus conductor. They take the fares, um, well they took the fares on the, the Route Master bus. It's got, actually, it does have really impressive suspension as well. You can see there's a lot of play in that there. Um, yes, yeah, a very special, uh, a very, sorry, a, a, a very lovely little model um, of a very special bus. Um, but I would also like to here um, read to you um, a press release uh, or a, a, a little leaflet that came um, with the other bus that I wanted to share with you to do it, um, today. Um, which, yeah, you can see Metoy as well. Uh, so let's just see um, what they've got to say in here. It's uh, got a little bit of a history on Corgi Toys. In 1933, Philip Ullman and Arthur Katz arrived in England from Germany and began to work on a range of tin plate toys. The company they formed was called Metoy, derived from the metal toys they produced. The first Metoy products were produced in 1934 in Northampton, by 1944, the business was fully stretched, supporting the war effort. Uh, and just an aside here from, from, from their notes, I know that they actually manufactured uh, like a camping stove or a cooking stove um, that the British Army used um, definitely in Europe um, in the Second World War. No, actually, no, I'm sorry, it wasn't in Europe. It was in the Far East they used it. I think, um, yes, that's where it was used. Um, so that was quite interesting, I thought. Um, um, to help with the war effort and go back to their uh, press release and it expanded to the extent that it moved to a new larger premises in Swansea. In 1954, the Metoy company began work on a new series of die cast metal toys. In 1955, a new brand name for these toys was settled upon and so the now famous name of Corgi was born. The first Corgi toys were launched in 1956. In 2006, Corgi celebrated its 50th anniversary, and to commemorate this milestone, the Metoy brand was also relaunched with a special anniversary release of a brand new Metoy tin plate Route Master bus. Look out for more exciting new Metoy releases in the near future. Okay, so they definitely built up uh, your expectation there. Um, and just the one thing I'd like to go back to as well about the uh, uh, exciting new Metoy releases in the future. But anyway, before we, we jump to that, let's have a look at what uh, they came up with to commemorate. And it's, um, it's pretty special. It's not what I was expecting when it said a tin plate toy. So let me just uh, get that into shot for you because it's, uh, yeah, it's quite nice. So there's the box. And it was a nice retro box that they uh, they made for the uh, for the product. But let me just get this into shot for you. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> um, now I, I'm not sure if you can see yet, but if you if I focus in on there, you'll be able to see. Yeah, it's got a lot of lovely detail, but really a tin plate toy. Now I'll just put the little um, the other little corgi there, so you can get an idea of the scale. So it's, I'm not sure what scale it is, actually, the big one. Um, it's quite large, though. Um, but let's go back to the details. Yes. Um, so it was actually manufactured, I, uh, it says on the box, it was actually manufactured in the Czech Republic. 
which is actually a, it's really beautiful isn't it um so they must have been master craft made by craftsmen yeah indeed um because um when i think of uh tin plate toys especially you know growing up in the 1970s they were really uh very flimsy um and this is not flimsy at all it's very solid <laughs> you hear a little bell there so it has a bell so yes and uh you can see they've um it's pretty it's got the uh the, the the moquette of the seats is there the pattern on the seats is there um the detail is just beautiful um you can see on there it's not lovely and um yes it's got and of course it's got a great big key which does come out um but i, I i'll wind it up so you can hear it as it's being wound up because it even sounds lovely when you wind it gotta hear this sound I'm not going to let it run. I'll let the wheels run, but I'll lift it off the ground because I don't want it to get obviously get damaged. Isn't that crazy? That's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so I will let it go so you can just see. Oh, <laughs> here, here the the, the uh, real wheels go. The the motor run. The lovely thing about it, I don't, I've let that run down there, so there might be not much, not very much power left in there. But it has turning wheels too, so I'll just see if it will run for you. Oh no, I'll let it run down too much. Let me put a bit more power in. I don't because I don't want it to run off my desk. That's all. <laughs> yeah, isn't that lovely? Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm such a big I'm such a big fan of. Uh, of corgi toys and uh and and buses as well so you could but it's absolutely lovely isn't it really lovely so and a real true apparently of a, a, a true uh limited edition only 3500 produced worldwide and this is number 1638 um so yes that's i just thought I, I'd, I'd share that with you because i haven't actually seen anyone else um on youtube with this particular bus um, I know that they actually, pr I, I saw one myself back in 2018, um, at the London Transport Museum in London, and it was a, it was for sale, and it was a, um, oh, 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 um, Green Line, it was a Green Line version, so it was a Route Master, but it was a Green Line, and I've also seen, I think, a number, a different, I've seen these in a, with a different number, a, a different route, so uh yeah they are they are out there but um they're very rare to find i think they are also in very good condition because they were they're, they're a, a real collectible and so when when they if you do find one um yeah it should be in good condition because people really do look after them they love them they really do um but it is a, a, a really a, a lovely toy a really lovely toy um, so yeah, there you are. You you have my um my special London Transport Clockwork Bus from Metoy. Um, uh, yeah, I bet that. So I do now. Just want to 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 ask ask the question if anybody does know whatever happened to the uh, planned further releases from Metoy. I, I I had a quick look and I, I I've not been able to find any any information or anything. Even about the factory where these were manufactured in the Czech Republic. I'd love to, to know if anybody knows. Please do let me know. Um, so, uh, yeah, just uh, before I go, I see that um, um, Flambard has uh, flicked on his uh, his uh, lamp again. Uh, his, uh, because I just quickly wanted to share with you. Now, you know that I'm a huge uh, James Bond fan. Um, well, um, I had... Um, I had shown you my um, Speed Champions uh, from Lego, the uh, the James Bond Aston Martin. Well, I will be doing a review of that, but just a top tip. The reason that Flambard put his light on was, um, and I'm not sure if it's worldwide, um, but uh, Amazon at the moment seem to be having their Playmobil. Um, they've got these on sale um and this i um so if you're interested and um, that was my tip and i that mine was 50 percent off so it's quite yeah it's quite significant anyway um i will be doing a full review um and having a look at it because interestingly enough it's my very first play mobile as well so 
<laughs> yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting to um to have a look at this one. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, keep collecting uh, your toys. Um, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. And just before I go, I did want to just uh, just to show everybody this because right now I have an amazing contest competition for my new subscribers. Um, everyone's going into a draw, a prize draw, to have a chance to win this. So yes, please, uh, just a little quick message here at the end of it. Please, I really need subscribers. So thanks very much. Join me next time. Take care. Bye.